Hello my pokey people, my name is Rage, and my name is Rage, and my name is Rage, and welcome one and all to the Rage Lock. I am sorry it has been so long since the last episode, I've been wanting to do more so very much and just... Things happen and the busy and the and it takes, you know, a lot to go into these episodes and please can you pokey forgive me? <laughs> I know you can, because you are all awesome, you really are. So thank you all of you that are still sticking by this series. It really does mean a lot. So as you can see, Snuggle won the vote and there's some adorable little fun out there of a huggling a pillow and it's just, ah, it's so cute. Hey, hey, listen, I'm gonna win this battle. Well, I'm gonna punch you in the face. Really, all there is to it. So you may be wondering why this sticks for two of me. The forfeit that, for some reason, everyone really wanted was for my face to be in the spare Pokemon boxes. So I guess there's three of me today. I don't know why, but that's what's happening. So yeah, I mean, this is an okay matchup type-wise, but we just don't have any sort of quality method of killing these. Although Fury Attack's doing all right. Could have done with a bit more of a furious attack. Oh, but, you know, we got there in the end. So once again, you guys have been very busy doing your lovely artwork. I like the dreams of Sir Run. A little rendition from back when he was a Weedle imagining the Beedrill that he has become today. And then we have the traditional me as a Pokey Wizard. I don't know why that's happening, but, you know, I... Don't mind it at all. I really, really don't. And then, finally, a little bit of more Sir Run action. Yes, indeed. Talking of Sir Run action, level 11, looking good. And as far as the question of the day goes, I would totally have a fire gym, and it would just be lava everywhere. And if they just made it to me, then honestly, congratulations, have a badge. You survived the literal lava death burns. That is hardcore. And then just as they're turning around with their badge, summon my Infernape and ask it to push them in, because... <laughs> All right, we need to get more XP on Sir Run, that's for show. Sure. But at the same time, if I swap to someone else, then he's going to get even less. And I just need to do some more switch training. He just needs to get something like Bug Bite, I guess. And then he can actually kill, you know, things. Which would be totally chill for real. But let's uh, see. All right, we got our little kid over there. I mean, we should just fight everyone on this route, right? I mean, I don't know. I feel like this might be one of the most irritating routes in all of X and Y. Though the caves are probably just as bad. Uh, I don't know. I mean, there's nothing truly bad in X and Y. Apart from the Burmese that are attached to thin air. Because that makes sense. Let's just furiously attack it and hope that it goes away. I think that's just good life advice, generally. If something's being irritating and, you know, trying to kill you in the face, the best thing to do is obviously just furiously attack it until it dies. That's it's, it's really weirding me out, having three of me. You know, normally I'd be like, yes, clones to do my bidding. But at the same time, I'm not happy about it. Did he just protect twice in a row and get away with it? I'm really not sure I'm okay with this. Yes. Critical hit. And then one more. It does look like Beedrill is firing his little abdomen spike, which is quite, like, hardcore, honestly. All right, Mad Stacks. I'm sorry that you're getting XP, Mad Stacks, because you are going to end up forever alone in a box. Uh, unless, you know, like, my entire team dies, at which point, you know, you will have to be brought back out. We'll have a kind of awkward reunion, like, yeah, I, I need you again. Uh, that's awkward. Uh, yeah, everyone died, so, so I kind of, kind of wonder if you could fight for the, for the team. Yeah, I know you're second choice, but, but soup, what? Since when do random nobodies bust out Pokemons? They must really care about this Burmy. 
Which is really good because it's going to make it ever so more satisfying when we completely annihilate it. You just think that maybe Beedrill one time accidentally puts too much power into his sting and just straight up busts through the enemy Bernie. That would be quite something. So basically, I'm thinking of making Saturday Pokemon Day each week. We'll have uh, a bit of Rage Log earlier on and then some nice theory random fun discussion-y in the evening. I kind of like that idea, you know? I think that's what we will uh, so run with for a while. Oh! Incorporated the Pokemon's names. Boom. Did a boom. Alright, one more Burmy down, and come on, yes, hit five times, hit five times, yes, one more, one more, one more, boom, a fury attack, now that is how you attack furiously, right there, that is how it's done, I am liking it, sweet. Your Pokemon is something special. Yeah, well, not as special as yours were. Oh, throwing so much shade. You just traded for a cool new Pokemon. I almost feel bad that I'm about to immediately make him regret this trade by just annihilating. Oh, no. Somebody conned him into taking a Magikarp. That is just sad. That is so, so sad. When does Sir run? A little bit of a nice little whoosh learn anything uh, actually damaging because I really just kind of need him to maybe for a full five yeah although Magikarp actually just survived five fury attacks I feel like Sir Run is just getting better at using his moves because now he's consistently doing really high fury attacks which is just fantastic although that one hit one time granted it was all that was needed but still sorry preschooler splish splash splash Ah, he doesn't even know what's happening the world is going to destroy him all right so we got the gardener we got the one there then we got I didn't mean to suddenly suddenly do that that's that's kind of awkward have <sighs> Hello there, have you ever heard of a Pokemon called Flababa? Oh, I see. It's registered in your Pokedex. That's what I would expect from one of the professor's handpicked Pokemon trainers. Flababy is now, brace yourself, a fairy type Pokemon. Fairy type is a new Pokemon type that we uh, okay all right thanks for thanks for just talking over him you know that's cool you know i'm sure he i'm sure he likes it when you're just totally rude like that you know he's just trying to explain me what this is and you're just like whoa you shut up i'm gonna tell him <sighs> come along now all right let's get the show on the road i mean i guess we'll have to come back and find a few others but that is uh, okie dokie oh no we're just gonna ignore him i mean we have three trainers left to be on this route which basically amounts to this guy and then to coffee that the world's most depressed gardeners like to use. Oh, look, it's Pokefan Gabe, and he's Papa Pichu! Papa Pichu. I mean, how many of you think that we're gonna successfully complete this run, and then how many of you are on the side of you're probably going to lose all your Pokemon and die? Because I'm definitely gonna commit to make this a little bit more challenging to no grinding. All of our XP needs to come from our battling and what we happen to run into, which might be a bad rule if we don't focus on one particular Pokemon, but you never know. Either way, Autobots, you know what you have to do. Isn't that super... Oh no, it's ground. I always get rock and ground confused, which admittedly, I feel like you can kind of understand because they're very similar, you know, just don't paralyze me thank you very much let's just vine whip it vine whip it real good oh i never realized that chespin's head sort of leaf thing goes into a sharp spike when it attacks that's actually really really cool okay pikachu will you switch pokemon yes i will switch to saron and then switch back to chespin also known as the world's most legendary backbone. Oh yeah, Pika! Good times, good times. All right, back to backbone. I like that. Not only are we going back to backbone, it's been back to back backbone that has been back to back killing the enemy opponent. So uh, liking it. I mean, it'd be a great start of a rap, you know. I got back to back to back back to backbone going my back to you know. It's a nice little wordplay. I mean, I'm not that I'm too quality good at rapping. I mean, with sentences like too quality good, you can see why. But I bet someone out there could do quite a lot good 
quite a lot good with a rage lock wrap. Quite a lot good. All right, let's just uh, thrash this Pikachu, and then all is well with the world. Gonna take one more whip, but that's fine. I'm prepared to whip as much as you want. Uh, to be fair, we are just getting completely growled down. I never realized as well that they actually had it go Pika when it used audio audible moves. That's kind of neat. Pika, Pika, Pika. I'm so, so sad. Dude, it does sound like it's just really chronically depressed when that happens. And so on level 12, please learn something. Ah. Mad Stacks is irrelevant. Snuggle, however, that's useful. I don't think I'm going to focus train Snuggle. It'll be a, a a backup if we, like, need potions. So, not that I want to sacrifice. You know, in fact, no, sacrificing is something we want to avoid. But, you know, if push comes to shove, I don't know. No, I'm, I'm definitely not going to sacrifice. Unless it literally means we either lose the run if we don't. Yo, bro. Bro, I need you to fight me. Good. I mean, he's not a very good gardener if he's just rapidly walking back and forth between two hedges. It's like he's just pretending to work. And what kind of gardener is allowed to, when he finds someone, stop working and just have a Pokemon battle? This better be coming out of his break. Otherwise, he is just a very, very irresponsible worker. All right, let's furiously attack this coffee-ish. Oh god, Beedrill is so pathetically weak. I mean, Corvish does have high defense, so I understand why this is working, but look at Beedrill go! Five, triple five times in a row, that is fantastic. Mud spot, good old mud spot. Alright, let's just switch to Backbone. I know he's paralyzed, but he'll eventually get a Vine Whip through, which will obviously annihilate the Corvish, and then all is good with the world. Vice Grip, Splat. Splat! Splat! That is the sound effect that must always accompany a vice grip. Splat! Kind of... A little bit worried. We'll go for one more. Just because even a crit wouldn't kill us. And then... Yay! Alright, there we go. We have won. Glorious, glorious day! Do I want to go for a Pokemon Center heal before the... Final one. I'm not sure I do. Pick doing well. When does he evolve in a Pidgeotto? I really don't know. In before right now. No? Alright, I was I was hoping. I'll admit maybe maybe a little bit too ambitious there, but that's fine. Alright, got ourselves an ether. Do I actually have uh, any amount of healing on me. I guess we'll go through the thing first, and then we'll come back for the final core fish. It, it seems uh, like it's not worth the risk just for me to be maximum efficient, right? Right? Seems kind of like a good idea. Hey, you two. Sorry, I just didn't follow you. So, how are you and Beedrill getting along the more you walk around with your Pokemon? Like, you can totally imagine these guys as robots built by the professor to carry out his iron will in the region. Good old return. Does anyone ever actually use return? I guess maybe on your first Pokemon playthrough and you're like, ooh, return! And that's all nice and jazzy. Here we are in Lumio City, where the grass doth be green and the pavement grey. I don't really know where I'm going with this, but that's uh, a okay. Where's the laboratoire? I'll go ahead and wait in front of the lab for you. Follow her that way to the lab. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Good times. Good times. You gotta program your deaf robots to have a lovely laughing function. I mean, that you just do. So first of all, we want to go to the Pokemon Center. Yes, we do. And look. Now we get a lovely cinematic view of the lab. Isn't that great? Let's go inside. Nope, gonna completely ignore you and go over here because I will not do what you tell me. I am the rebel. I am the rebel. I don't know what to do because I want you guys to be able to vote whether we get Charmander, Squirtle, or Bulbasaur. But at the same time, that would mean ending the episode just before that happens, which would result in a unsatisfactory long episode. So, I am kind of... Uh, 
on the fence here. Goodbye, Mad Stacks. You can join the other people who lost their respective votes before we head back out into the field. Gonna have a little quick save of the game before my DS is like, ah, oh, I see all this progress you've made. It would be a shame if anyone was to not recognize game cart. So let's head back over here. I don't wanna, there's a blackout? I mean, it's literally daytime. How does that work as an excuse? You'd think they'd at least come up with something better. It is quite literally daytime. It's like, nah, bro, there's a blackout. And the fact that I can see other people walking around behind him, it just seems like he's taking the mick. I mean, we have we had Pyrofessional before, so we should at least take Squirtle or Bulbasaur. And I guess, actually, Squirtle makes sense, because I've never trained a Squirtle, and a water type would nicely balance this team, because we have chest spins. So, actually, I don't think we need to do the vote, because that kind of works out, right? We don't want Charmander, because we've had one before in a Nuzlocke. We don't want a Bulbasaur, because we have chest spin. That makes sense. That only leaves one choice. So, yeah, I think, I think you guys will be okay with that. I mean, I guess I could always load and redo it if you're not potentially. I don't know, but I, I think that does generally make of the sense. All right, let's switch to Backbone and continue on. It's a shame I don't have six Pokemon, then there wouldn't be three of me. Although imagine if I did this on like the second episode when I just had Backbone and there was six of me around the screen. <laughs> That'd be great. And also awful in, in kind of equal measures, really. All right, Vine Vip. There you go. It's super effective. I'm surprised it didn't actually kill him. I was kind of expecting him to do. I mean, it does suck that we kind of have to deal with the world's ugliest looking middle form starter in the form of Quilladin soonish, but you know, we're not gonna think about that too much. Focus energy! Keep hold moves. We don't need focus energy. We just need a good solid attack. I should probably take my TMs, but we haven't gotten that many so far, so it's not as big of a deal. Yes, indeed. I mean, I'm mostly just worried about the mini bosses. Like, I need to be careful for for that one psychic prick on the route after this lab who has a Kadabra that's like level 17 that basically just goes, I hope all your Pokemon die! And it's like, Mike Tyson, no! <laughs> Very obscure reference, and any of you that get that, I, you know, give you a triple thumbs up. A one-time offer of today's episode, a triple thumbs up. Aren't you happy? All right, let's head one spot to the Pokemon Center. Little quick bit of a heal, and then we'll go deal with the lab. Did those two people just have a conversation about where the cafes in the city are while at a cafe in the city? I mean, I'm all for checking, but I feel like maybe they could just open their eyes and look around them. And how rude is it if they're at this cafe and they're like, Excuse me, wait for this cafe. Could you tell me where the better cafe is? Well, I never. That's obviously how the waiter would respond to that. Definitely. Oh, we could go do... Is this, the, is this the building with the spooky ghost in? Oh, no, it's not. Hiya, this way please. I regret immediately going in here. As you know, this is your first time here. This is the PR Video Studio. Ten things every atom. So how cool you are. No. No, I don't. I really don't. Fuck you all. <laughs> Just straight up. Giving them evils and throwing shade. Oh look, twins. As we walk out that building. Alright, to the laboratoire. We made it. You've traveled a long way from Vanevel Town, but you're finally here. He's on the third floor, so hop in the elevator. Well, again, I ain't gonna do what you tell me. So I'm going to the second floor for no apparent reason. I actually can't remember if there's anything worth grabbing on the second floor, so I really have no idea. Also, make sure in the comments of today's video, you suggest what the challenge, the bonus rule for next episode is gonna be, because I got a feeling that we have one episode of a challenge, then the next episode of Forfeit If I Failed, or a challenge-free episode as a award for completing it, and then we just kinda go in a cycle like that. That seems like a good decision. Don't care what you have to say about Pokemon genders. Don't care what you have to say about Pokemon abilities. Why are there just random children in this lab? That's what I'd like to know. Like, why are they just here? What do they even do with themselves? Floaty uh, Pokeball technology is uh, pretty cool, though. All right, to the third floor. Let's do this thing. If I recall correctly, the triple starter battle is level 10, I think. I'm not inherently 
Sure, but I guess we'll find out in Glorious Fire. Look at Sycamore! <laughs> Isn't he just the suavest professor? At least he was until Kukui came along, but there we have it. Uh, can you imagine in many years playing through X and Y for nostalgia when there's like a couple more new Pokemon games? That'd be weird. Uh, Fantastic! You're here! Ho ho ho! Come this way, won't you? Of course I will, Sycamore. Of course I will. Let's do this. And once again, I'm going to save before things go horribly wrong. I, I'm so paranoid of it breaking, I really am. Hello, Sycamore! Many thanks for coming all the way from a little town! Ha <laughs> ha I'm Professor Sycamore! It's a pleasure to finally meet you all! You've got to end each sentence in an awe! Oh, fantastic! Let me have a quick look. You've seen 29 kinds! Yay, I did it! That music means I did well! Oh, the packages are getting filled in! Oh, the packages, the pages even. I know what I'm talking about. Well now, you do have a certain je ne sais quoi! I have a good feeling about you! Alright, that's good. I really don't care, Sycamore. Veteran trainer, I know! Ho 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 ho! Here in the Kalos region, you're far away from everything you need to know. You have hit me right here in the chest! Triple chest! Hi, Professor. It's Sean. Sorry to have kept you waiting. I've actually completely forgotten what voice it is for each of them, because I'm also doing the Egglock stream at the same time, so it gets really, really muddled. Oh, good times. Good times. Good. Oh no, Sean is Russian. I remember now. Fantastic! Now let's all have a Pokemon battle. Your opponent shall be me. I'm totally ready for this. Don't you think I'm not? I got this. <laughs> Let's do this thing. I challenge you, Sycamore. Just so you know, I'm not that tough. Well, I mean, yeah, look at you. I mean, you look like a lot of things. A lot of them good, but tough is not one of them, Sycamore. And we start with Bulbasaur. Which is fine, because we can immediately... Oh, they're all level 10. That's fine. We can immediately swap to pick and blast him away with some lovely jubbly Gus. I just love the space in Pick's name. It's just so bad. Alright, Growl isn't going to do too much because we got ourselves at the Gust. Yeah, I mean, look at the battle arena in X. It's just a square floor and two circles. How cool is it going to be in Sun and Moon when the battle actually reflects what the world looked like? And we'd see Sycamore, we'd see us, we'd see the room, maybe even the furniture. I mean, that's just really, really awesome. Okay, Gust that down. Is it just me or was Bulbasaur's eyes vibrating a little bit there? Because I really feel like they were. Snuggle level 11, not bad. About to send in Squirtle. I will switch to Backbone. I mean, I almost want to have Backbone also fight Charmander just because of rollout. And I doubt he's going to immediately get fire moved down, right? That seems kind of unlikely. I mean, maybe not. We'll see. First of all, we'll just double vine whip away Squirtle. Ah, that sucks that he water gunned. I kind of needed every bit of health, though I only lost three. Ah, I'm not inherently sure what I should go for here, because Backbone does need the extra XP, that's the thing. Like, I want him to get to level 16. We kind of need to evolve at this point. We need a little bit of extra strength on the team. Level 15 is certainly not bad. Leech Seed, definitely want Leech Seed. It's a very, very useful move. So we'll get rid of Tackle. We don't need Tackle. We have so many more options than Tackle. Bite is just normally a better Tackle. And although his final typing is Fighting, right? Grass Fighting Chestnut, I believe. I'm not actually 100% sure, but we'll keep battling. We'll have some balls! And uh, we'll go for that rocky finish against Charmander. Actually, no, I shouldn't have said that because I really don't want it to be a rocky finish. Smokescreen kind of sucks because Rollout already has terrible accuracy, but we managed it. Should only take two, so we need to hit once more. And, oh, look at him go. He's trying to counter my Rollout shenanigans. What a guy. <laughs> All right, that's fine. I mean, he's not damaged us, so I'll try one more. Let's see how much an Ember hits for. All right, that's actually... It's actually pretty, pretty, pretty high amount, so we'll just, uh, <laughs> we'll just rapidly swap over to pick that. That is fine. <laughs> that could have gone so wrong, it really could. 
Okay, Scratch is alright. I do like the use of a non-fire move, you know, countered the switch fairly well. A little bit of stab gust all up in here, and then I guess we'll go for a quick- no, never mind. We got growled, so we might as well just go for a gust. When we know Gush is definitely going to win. Yes, Gush, you just start telling the opponent's Pokemon how much you love them. Uh, it's a really effective combat technique, you know. The opposing Charmander fainted. We did it, team! We did it. No levels up, unfortunately. Oh, I can't believe this! Oh, look at this! Even though I said I suck, I can't even believe it! I just can't even believe it. I think I figured it out. Oh, ho, ho. Figured what out? Does you an interesting Pokemon trainer indeed? But I'll stick if you took another Pokemon with you. Hey, pick one! So, yeah, I think we can definitely agree on Squirtle. I love how. Hey! 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 Hey, just suddenly, in your face, they are. It's uh, quite amusing. All right, it's good. Look how happy he is we picked him. Ah, definitely uh, made the right choice. You picked Squirtle then, I see. That's simply wonderful. The question is that everyone, what shall we call our lovely little Squirtle? What shall we call him today? I think the answer needs to be... Hmm. I kind of want to call him Water Bro, as in like Water Bro, but also Water Bro, and then he can kind of be like a bro surfing Squirtle. I I like that. I do. Let's have Water Bro, like what a bro, but Water Bro. I, I know he's not, you know. This, there are probably better names, but I like Water Bro. He can he can help us out, you know. He's a nice little Pokemon, Water Bro. <laughs> I think that's fine. I do. Okay, so your nickname will be Water Bro. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and we obtained a Blastiosanite. -a Good old Blastiosanite. Come now, you two pick a Pokemon. I don't know which one to pick. It's so difficult. We've been together for a long time, huh? So just take your time. Well, I've got a feeling everyone else will show up soon because I am psychic and French. Those two things are the same. I, Professor Sycamore. What's this? Everyone is already here. See. Si. Wonderful. Everyone's all here. So now that we're all here, I'd like to say a few words. Be the best trainer you can be. No shit, Sherlock. At the same time, remember you have fun traveling with your Pokemon. Ho oh, oh, ho oh, oh. ho Biggest mystery, the secret and potential of Mega Evolution. <coughs> Seriously, recording Rangelock absolutely destroys my voice. Do it for you guys, but my throat is pain. <laughs> Oh, that's why I gave you the Mega Stone just now. It's an important clue. <laughs> Mega Evolution. What should we do about the Pokedex? Trevo, my lad, if that's what the best trainer means to you, then I want you to go out there and complete that Pokedex. Mega Evolution sounds really interesting. If you're investigating Mega Evolution, why don't you check out Camphra Town? Ho ho ho! Now listen, if you visit many different places to complete your Pokédex, you'll probably see Pokémon with many ways of living. Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! I feel as if different from the others makes me special. Ha ha! Master Mega Evolution will definitely set me apart from other trainers. All right, bye, nerds. See you later. All right, let's leave this building with rapidity, I think. Um, we'll go to the start of the next route. He has the next route. Oh, here we go. Here we go. So, I will be able to meet them soon then. Yes. The children chosen by the professor. I wonder what potential they have. That one hurts! Uh, Josh, Josh, come here for a sec. Oh, you received a Pokedex from the professor then. How wonderful! That is a wonderful thing indeed. You are the chosen ones. I am Lysander. I've tried to learn as much about Pokemon as I can to help build a brighter future. Professor Sycamore has taught me so much. Oh, I see you have a hollow caster. Knowledge is power after all. Put it to good use. Now listen, it is vital that this world become a better place. And the people and Pokemon chosen to make the world better must work tirelessly to achieve this goal. I'll be off. Give Sycamore my best punch.
<laughs> that was uh quite the uh <laughs> voice. Why did I choose that? Oh, of all the things in this great big Kalos region, there are many different Pokemon. <laughs> Good, thanks, wonderful. I actually feel kind of dizzy, because it's boiling in here, and it's just... Me. There's a place I want to go check out, so I will see you around. There's something I want to talk about. I'll be waiting for you at Cafe Selene, neighbor. Ho ho. I wonder what Serena wants to talk about. Why couldn't she just use the holocaster? No clue, but it seems hush hush. I am curious about what's going on, but we should probably stay out of it. Hey, me. <laughs> To get to Camphor Town, leave the lab and turn left and go straight. The Cafe Soleil she was talking about is over that way too. Thanks, you lad. Appreciate it. Oh, we made it. We made it. We made it out of the lab. Ain't that just good? Lumino City, three large streets. I don't really care anymore. I just don't care. I've got Batman Syndrome. <laughs> like I've been eating gravel. But that's okay. That's alright. Cause I got the things to make it all go right. Bum 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 bum. All right, to the cafe. Could you come in here for a second? I warn you in advance of my uh, champion voice. All right, I I'm just saying. I warn you in advance. Oh, is that Lysandra? Is that the answer? Just so you know, Neville, Alessandra is the head of Alessandra Labs, which created the Holocaster, a video messaging device. You gotta know who the answer is, right? She's one of the most famous movie stars in the world, after all. I wonder what the two of them are doing here together. You played a young girl so wonderfully in your debut on the silver screen. We you rather mean young and beautiful and play to trolls forever? What a strange question. Oh, wait, here we go, here we go. Youth may be beautiful, but it's no life with all there is to life. Everything changes, I want to live and change like that too. So I look forward to playing different roles as I get older. You were chosen to be a movie star, correct? Isn't your duty to be ever beautiful? Everything beautiful should stay that way. Uh, he's really quite creepy when you think about it, isn't he? Oh, hello, Josh. This is Yanth, one of the most accomplished movie stars in Kalos. She moves the multitudes with her excellent acting. <sighs> there we go. <laughs> I hear you too. My name is Serena. That's right. I hear the Sandra call you that, you have lovely names. Oh, you have trainers, don't Pokemon look happy. I'm gonna train myself in my off time and look forward to spelling someday. I just think that's the best voice for her. Hmm. I guess if you're a Pokemon trainer, you battle everyone no matter who they are. Oh, that's right, I was gonna go ask you, neighbor. You'd be like to compete with me as soon as we become stronger. I know they set off on our journey just after you arrive in Finneville. But we're neighbors now, and I think it should be fun to compete with you, haha. -ha. Just so you know, I won't lose, though. Alright, thanks. I like how we leave before even giving her our answer. Like, we just we just don't give a crap, you know. We wait too cool for all of that. We just wait too cool. <laughs> Hello, clip received. It's Tiano! So, check this out. I'm on Route 5 right now, and it's just hopping with wild Pokemon. I mean, every route is hopping with wild Pokemon. That's kind of the point of Pokemon. But you know what? I'm not gonna crush his dreams, so that's okay. Uh, all right, guy. Oh my god. Sorry about this. Nice to meet you, friend. They call me Mr. Bonding. Have you heard about O Powers? That expression of yours tells me you haven't. Don't worry. I'll tell you about it. O Powers are mysterious. They make your Pokemon stronger, or even help. <laughs> Any friends that nearby will benefit through them. Let's get started, shall we? It's bonding time. <laughs> it's gotta be, right? It's gotta be Mr. Bonding. Alright, I don't care anymore. Go away, you creepy, creepy individual. <laughs> Alright guys, that'll do for today's Rage Lock episode. We'll start next time with two fresh Pokemon ca- Oh yeah, the, the frickin' frickin' Lucario thing. We'll start next time with two fresh captures, but for now, like, if you enjoy this, yes, it dashed off, because it likes me, I have a cool aura, it roughs, well, you're a Pokemon gym leader, and we'll fight one day and have a mega battle of Lucario versus Lucario, yep, you're so cool. Alright, go away now. 
Like if you enjoyed this, everyone. Subscribe for more. I don't know what that was. Yeah, cool. I moved my t-shirt. I'm just totally chill like that. I'll see you all next time. A oh, good boy. All right. You know what? Since I've actually got all three cameras, let's do a Pokemon wrap with our five current Pokemon. Hit it! Sir, run, pick, backbones, no gold, water, bro!